Larry Anglesano, Aviation Consumer Magazine. I'm flying a 2017 Cirrus SR22T. It's a Tango G6, Generation 6, uh, which is the sixth generation of the SR22 since it was introduced back in 2001. Here with Cirrus is Cliff Allen. Flying this airplane pretty much as it was intended on a long distance trip from northern New England down to Tennessee. Going to visit the Cirrus Vision Center down in uh, Knoxville. We'll cover that in another video on this channel. Now, before we get into performance and the avionics in this airplane, Cirrus's Ivy McIver is going to give us an overview as to what's new with the Cirrus in uh, 2017. Okay, the 2017 SR22 G6 is really the culmination of all of the things that we've done since we introduced the 22 in 2001. So it's sort of, it's really the pinnacle of aviation and it's this evolution of a product that has ended with this, this G6. So uh, we've taken all of the creature comforts in the cabin and made them even better. So things like there's a headset strap to keep your uh, headsets in the front. There's a, a gear pocket just in the front of the seat where you can stow a, a notepad or an iPhone or something like that. Um, the cabin's a really nice, comfortable place to be. It's quiet, the leather is soft and supple and buttery. The, there's a lot of storage for things like your beverage or your electronics or things like that. You can charge your electronics via USB ports. There's four USB ports inside the cabin. You know, the biggest thing from the inside of the, of the G6 is the avionics platform. So we've taken the perspective and really redesigned with Garmin um, all of the guts of the avionics. So you've got a brand new flight deck. It's very familiar because it's from Garmin. Um, the buttonology and the menus and things like that are very familiar, but all the processes are new. They're 10 times faster. Um, the display is crisper and cleaner. Um, your interaction with the avionics is much faster. Um, and then we've offered up a QWERTY keyboard, uh, which aligns with pretty much every other device in your life. Uh, you've got a lot of new features within the avionics, and the reason why we're able to add all those new features is because of the new software and the new processors. Uh, you know, you've got basically got a, um, an avionics platform that's 10 years newer than the, uh, than the perspective. And, uh, and with that, much like a, an iPhone or a, a home computer or something like that, you get to a point where the operating system sort of reaches a, a point where you can't add new stuff anymore. So you got to get a new computer. Think of this as a new computer. Uh, with the G6, we really ramped up the wireless capabilities of the airplane. So the audio panel has a Bluetooth connectivity um, where you can wirelessly pair your mobile device with the audio panel and then do things like make uh, phone calls, receive phone calls, and listen to music through uh, that wireless connection. Through the audio panel, you'll hear it in your headset. Uh, the other big piece of the Bluetooth connectivity is via the optional flight stream, and that enables you to connect your wire or your mobile device to the avionics. One thing that we are always evaluating is pilot workload and how to reduce pilot workload. One of the ways that we've done that with the G6 is to actually remove the yaw damper button and make the yaw damper automatic. So when the plane is equipped with the yaw damper, it will automatically turn on as you climb through 200 feet. And as you descend through 200 feet on landing, it will automatically disengage. So basically your yaw damper is automatically engaged above 200 feet EGL and disengaged below 200 feet EGL. Um, the other reason why we decided to do that for the piston aircraft for the G6 is to align the piston with the jet. So the, the jet, the vision jet, has an automatic yaw damper that turns on at 200 feet and turns off at 200 feet. The most noticeable change in the G6 is the Spectra wingtip lighting. So uh, the entire wingtip is actually housing a variety of different LED lights um, that are the landing light, the nav lights, the position lights, as well as an, an aesthetic halo light. Um, the halo light can be activated with a key fob and that unlocks the door as well. And then there's some additional convenience lighting around the airplane. So there's a, a light that illuminates the step on each side of the airplane, making it easier to see when you're getting in and out. There's also a ground illumination light underneath the wingtip that illuminates the entire ramp space just around the, the end of the wingtip. It not only gives the plane a really beautiful ramp presence, uh, but it makes it uh, easier to see when you're doing your walk around or pre-flight. Um, the landing lights themselves on the wingtips 
have a wigwag functionality. So as you climb out past 300 feet, um, the landing lights and the wingtip go from steady to alternating left and right. And they will stay on that wigwag functionality throughout your flight. And when you come in for landing at 300 feet on the descent, they turn to solid. So it makes you much, much more visible when you're up flying and in an airport environment. Um, and they're just super bright and super beautiful. The 22T comes standard with a Hartzell composite prop. Uh, this is also an option on the 22, and we also have a composite prop option for the SR20. In addition to the paint schemes that we offer in the Platinum, Carbon, and Rhodium upgrade packages, we also offer a program called the XI Personalization Program. And this allows you to work with our design team to really customize and personalize your aircraft and make it uh, unique and meaningful for you and truly a one-of-one -one aircraft on the ramp. So Cliff, this is a uh, turbocharged airplane. What's the typical altitudes that people generally fly them? You know, since we're westbound, we tend to stay a little bit lower just to, so we don't get into the big headwinds. So for our trip out to Knoxville, we've been flying between six and 10,000 feet. On our way home, we'll go up high and we'll go fast. So we'll throw on the oxygen mass and we'll probably go to flight level 210 or 230 for a quick ride back home. 30.2 inches of manifold pressure. We've got uh, Lena Peak at 17.7 gallons per hour. Uh, we're looking at a true airspeed of about 176. That's about right. I flight plan at 180 knots at 10,000 and 200 knots at in the flight level. So above 18,000, I'll flight plan at 200 knots. True. It's beautiful if you pick up a 40 or 50 knot tailwind. Makes a trip um, from Knoxville back to New England. You know, three-hour affair. Right, this is, the airplane is certified for flight in a known icing. We've got the, the TKS system, so we've got two tanks that hold four gallons each of TKS fluid, two pumps that are then going to pump that through the panels on the wings and the leading edge of the, of the horizontal stabilizer as well as the vertical stabilizer. On the normal mode, the pump is running on 30 seconds, off 60, on 30, off 60, so it's kind of doling, doling that out. We've got about a two and a half hour endurance at the normal setting. At high, one pump is running on full, full time, and that's going to cut that endurance at about a half, so we're going to go to about an hour and 15 minutes. Then at max, both pumps are on full blast for two minutes. That's going to cut that in again in half, so we're going to give us about 30 minutes endurance. Uh, the aircraft that you see here is the uh, G6 2017 SR22T. Uh, GTS. It's actually equipped with a five-year warranty, a global satellite phone, as well as air conditioning. Uh, it is an absolutely as loaded, fully loaded plane that you can get in a uh, G6, and it's priced at 933. Uh, for more details on all of the pricing for the 20, the 22, and the 22T, you can visit SiriusAircraft.com and choose aircraft and select each aircraft model, and uh, the price lists are posted on the website. Now, you can read a full report on the Cirrus SR22T G6 in the April 2017 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglosano. Thanks for watching.